Hello, hello, and welcome everybody to the GPT-3 Makeathon opening ceremony. I hope you all found your way to. Wait one second, just need to turn off one speaker. I think it should be fine now. Okay, again, then welcome everybody to our opening ceremony. Or not. Maybe we can just plug the speaker out for now. Okay. Uh, welcome well, again, everybody. Have a start, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> what else can we do? But yeah, I really hope you found your way to Gather Town and you're not experiencing any issues. However, if you are, make sure to check out the Slack channel and um, yeah, ask for support there because you'll find uh, a link to the YouTube video as well and should all be fine. Yeah, and I'm super excited about having so many different people from many so from so many different domains. It's actually one of our AI approaches here at Tumi AI is to make AI yeah. collaborative. I think, and I'm pretty sure Nora, you agree with me as well, AI has the potential to be applied in many, many different fields, but this is only gonna work if we actually bring the experts from these relevant fields together and make them just work together. So techies with people from the field of mm -hmm. law, with people from the field of medicine, and that's where we see potential, and that's where we see interesting use cases and new stuff. And that's why also when we got the GPT-3 access from OpenAI, mm -hmm. we thought, hey, we want to do a hackathon with it. We have the chance to actually make a great event. Let's open it to makers from all domains. But before we go blabbering on about all the details, about all the platforms that you're going to use, all the submissions that you're going to have to submit, how about knowing tell us actually what GPT-3 is? I mean, it's the title of the makeathon, it's from <laughs> OpenAI, but yeah. what does it actually do? Uh, I would love to. Uh, GPT-3 is, like you just said, by OpenAI, and um, it's a language model, actually, so it's based on text input. It's been trained on many different text data, and uh, it's actually, GPT, well, I'll start at the beginning and not get into it too quickly. GPT-3 stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer 3, and uh, this model is a language-based deep learning model, and uh, this Pre-trained basically means that all the information that it needs has already been trained on it. So if it needs to generate some text, it already has everything it needs to do so. Mm. And also another good point of GPT-3 is its ease of use because you can interact with it via the browser. So even if you don't have programming knowledge or whatever, you can program your own thing over the website and it shouldn't be any problem. And it's also the biggest uh, deep learning model that has ever been created. And its large size leads to it actually being very generally able to be applied, which is especially useful for this makeathon because we have so many different domains and different ideas that can work together. And yeah, we would love to put it to all domains, but we thought for this makeathon it might be better to keep it a bit concise and choose four specific domains that we work with. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can't have everything in this world. We only have <laughs> exactly. the space for four tracks, and that's why we had to concise ourselves to four tracks. These are marketing, knowledge management, healthcare, and the legal track. So knowledge management and marketing, they're pretty obvious AI domains. Like they, these are domains where AI has been used quite extensively in marketing with NLP. You can think about content creation, for example, mm -hmm. and knowledge management. Just think about now with Corona, with the virtual setting, how much knowledge is just distributed among the companies. It's just a huge amount and you have to get something to manage it. Healthcare and legal tech, well, they're basically our exotics here in the lineup that we have healthcare but it's definitely also a very very important field this has been also proven by corona mm -hmm. and legal tech well legal tech you might be surprised how much potential nlp has in the field of legal tech so let's just get into it yeah yeah let's get into it so what can you expect today well we have a really extensive agenda this Making this great Macathon was re very hard to do in the virtual setting. That's why we have the introductory days, the deep dive days, the Macathon we weekends, the side quests to keep you entertained, and the platforms. In this presentation, we're just going to tell you everything you need to know so that you can hit the ground running. But before we get into the very, very, very fine details, this 
was a huge group effort and that's that why our partners they deserve one hell of a shout out our main partners open ai tomb venture labs and applied ai they have supported this idea ever since it was just a small idea pitched by three guys on the lunch break it's been amazing how much support they have offered us and it's been amazing how flexible they have been with the whole yeah. organizing uh, efforts. Our challenge setters, they have been working the last couple of months to bring for you these amazing challenges that you're gonna take part in and maybe make a solution for them. Our sponsors, because guess what? Making a makeathon, even a virtual setting, can get quite expensive. It can. We learned that the hard way. And our supporters, they have supported us with amazing talks, workshops and whatnot. Without them, this would have not been possible. So, just one thing before we actually get into the very fine details and bore you with our monotonic uh, discussions. Why don't you let us know what excites you the most about AI? I've been talking for quite a bit now and I think it's very cool to find out what you actually think about AI, especially because it's been such a hype thing for like many years now. I mean, AI has become bigger and bigger and it's gonna be super relevant in the future, so. Yeah, definitely, I mean, AI has been like the buzzword for such a long time now mm. and buzzwords they're kind of frowned upon it's it is true yeah. people just use them a lot to kind of make this uh, thing go just one uh, small note everybody should mute themselves in gather town otherwise we kind of get confused and and you experience really some echoes <laughs> so make sure to mute yourself make sure to mute it we want to make this amazing for you help us help you so. yes for sure um, um, and if you haven't seen it yet, there should be a QR code on the stream right now that you have to click on, uh, that you should scan and to get on the website. Also in Gathertown, I think there should be a link for you to get to the website where you can answer the poll. Yeah. And yeah, especially because it has been such a buzzword, it's still not been applied to enough domains yet. So I mean, it's been, that's, it's been like yeah. on the fly in the field of advertising, which is kind mm -hmm. of sad. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do with AI and just it, fi it finds the most usage in advertising. As yeah. So I really think it's, it has the potential for many different things. And yes, it is a buzzword, but it's a rightly so a buzzword. I mean, it's just so fucking good. <laughs> That's so true. I, I think I don't, I'm not supposed to say that. Please beat me next time, guys. <laughs> and I don't think we can see the poll of the people. But, I mean, if you have answered questions, that's still very cool. Maybe we can look at it later and we'll just get into the presentation now, maybe. Yeah, let's maybe start with the presentation. Perfect. Uh, so the first point on our agenda are the introductory days. Uh, this is where you meet people, socialize and find your team. You probably heard many times now that we have four tracks, which are marketing, legal tech, healthcare, and knowledge management. But what you've not might not heard yet is that we actually have two paths within each track. One is the company challenge path, which we also refer to often as CC, and then we have the own challenge path, which, which we often refer to as OC. The company challenge path is quite obvious what that is. It's all the companies that we have that will present exciting challenges to you, and if there are some challenges that you that you really like and would love to participate in then uh, actually we just got a sign that maybe we're doing s the poll now oh here we go <laughs> let's oh. go back to it uh, so we have many different things with automation we oh there's <laughs> a little cool animation as well possibilities future power money and the big data mm. So, so salaries? Salaries? Okay, medicine, new opportunities, understanding, help, feedback. Well, this is just like some great stuff we have right there. <laughs> I guess everybody's Especially because they're cool. very like wide and this really reflects the potential that AI has. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Maybe you want to continue with the presentation now? Uh, perfect. So as I just said, the company challenges are quite obvious what that is. You just get to the exciting challenges and select the ones that you really want to work with. Own challenges is either you might already have your own idea and really want to implement that within a team and maybe you already sign up to pitch at the event today. Or you might have another person's idea that you really like and you want to work with. And this also isn't important that you get the sorters as soon as possible. It's completely fine if you sort this until the makeathon itself. The only thing you have to decide beforehand if you actually is uh, which track you want to develop this challenge in. So, for example, you choose, oh, marketing is something I want to work with, and then, yeah, you can work with people that also want to work in the field of marketing, and you can develop your idea right before the Makeathon weekend or throughout the Makeathon weekend. 
The most important thing for today, actually, is the submission of the OCCC form of tonight. Uh, the deadline is midnight tonight, so please don't forget about it, because here there will be many important things that you have to fill out, first of all. You have to enter your email if you want personal access to GPT-3, which we very much recommend, but of course it's up to you. Uh, it might be very good for you to already like try out some things, see what's actually possible with GPT-3 throughout the workshops that will happen and all of that. Then you'll get your Artemis access, which is very straightforward if you have a Tom ID. However, if you don't, there's a few steps you need to follow before you get access to this one. And then the most important part, selecting your top three choices. Here you either select your company that you want to work with or the uh, own challenge in the particular path that you want to choose. Mm. Also, it's important to highlight here that if you already have some teammates that you definitely want to work with, make sure that you select exactly the same options as them so we can ensure that you're in the same socializing groups in the, f in the further steps that we're taking. Also, with this form you're committing to participate in the Makeathon weekend. So if you don't have time or you're not sure yet if you have time during the Makeathon weekend, make sure to sort that today before you submit this form. Because once you submitted this form, it would be not fair to your teammates or anybody if you then decide not to show up. And yeah, just to highlight again, this is just for the Makeathon weekend and not for the uh, deep dive days or the, for the introductory days itself. Because it would be a shame if you missed those, but yeah, if you don't, that's fine. The link for this will follow. So yeah, plan for today after this opening ceremony, we have the company challenge pitches, then the participant challenge pitches, and again, deadline, don't miss it. Very important. Then based on these submitted forms, we'll build these socializing groups, which will consist of 10 to 25 participant per, participants per group. Here, for these group Slack uh, channels will be created, where you get to meet your supervisor and maybe interact with each other already a little bit before the socializing event tomorrow. Then tomorrow in the socializing event itself, they'll be separated in uh, the CC socializing and the OC socializing. In the CC socializing, you'll just have some icebreaker events, get to know each other. And in the OC socializing, you'll also additionally have the opportunity to pitch your idea. Maybe today you didn't want to pitch in front of this many people, or you just come up with a new idea after having some inspiration. Feel free to then message your supervisor and tell them you would like to pitch. And then for both teams, the team finding will happen then. So through your supervisor and yourselves, you will have to find your teammates and do the final submission of your team. Afterwards, we'll have the grand opening party where you can, where you can meet different teams and socialize and just have fun and enjoy yourselves. So yeah, that will start at 6. Then we'll continue with the submission at the reception where you submit your final team members. They'll be from 7.30 to 8. And then from 8 p.m. onwards, you can yeah, just go have fun with people and socialize as you do. There's definitely a fine line between optimize and over-engineering and we are playing jump rope with that one. I'm, <laughs> so, so I'm super excited that we are covering every single detail. And that brings us to the deep dive days. So what are they and why are they so important? Well, we realize that the people coming into this makeathon, they're coming in hot. They want to start uh, making, they want to start uh, developing solutions. And while well, here at Tumi AI, we've got your back. We want to provide you with the tool that you're going to need to hit the ground running when it comes to the making part. That means we have a range of technical and business workshops for you, waiting for you by amazing speakers and amazing presenters. We have a couple of inspiring talks by one of our supporters, and we have some side quests for you that are going to help you get entertained while you're wondering why your CNN is recognizing your cat as a lamp. So let's see what you actually have to expect. So on Monday, we have the OpenAI opening and the GPT-3 workshop. This is very important because this is where you get interaction with the tool which, with which you're going to be spending most of the time. It's the title of the makeathon, for God's sake. Then on Tuesday, 13th of April, we've got the business ideation by Lawrence Hunter, uh, by Lawrence Hutter. Sorry about that. Wednesday, we've got the Flutter workshop and AI for good. In the Flutter workshop, you're going to get to know this amazing minimalistic framework for web development and AI for good by Ekram from Microsoft. Definitely is going to have many, many insights to share. Pretty excited about this one myself. Then finally, Thursday, Ethics in AI and the pub quiz, one of our side quests. And in the Makeathon weekend, we've got the idea, you're going to ideate, develop and prototype. And uh, the details for that is going to follow. Then we're going to get to our side quest, which for me is actually one of the many things. Um, sorry about that. Maybe um, first we want to get some information to the Makeathon weekend, weekend itself. That's a really good point. Good point. <laughs> it's not good. Sorry about that, guys. Don't worry. But what can you look forward to? 48 hours of collaboration, networking, loads of support from our uh, there for your support during the duration of the Makeathon, expert jury, and fantastic prizes. Have I forgotten anything? 
No, I think that pretty much covered it. it. But yeah, just for the fantastic prizes, yeah, we have the mentorship program by the Tom Venture Labs, which should be very excited for. And of course, we have some uh, prizes for the winning teams, which are, which are provided by our challenge setters. And maybe just a quick info for the expert jury, we'll have two rounds. We'll have the first round where we have the pre-jury, where all the teams will get to pitch. And then afterwards, we'll have eight teams that are selected for the final, where they'll pitch in front of the expert expert jury. And these eight uh, pitches will then be used to select the winner from. And here the time timetable will be, we'll start at 2pm with the opening stream, which we, will hope, <laughs> which we will hold again. And then at 3pm, this official start where you can start developing and prototyping and collaborating with your team. And we thought it might be really cool to have some networking event on Saturday, which, yeah, details will follow for that. But here you basically get to talk to the other team, see how their progress is and collaborate, um, talk to them a little bit. Then the submission deadline will be at 2 p.m. on Sunday. And yeah, then all these pitches will happen between 2 and 8 p.m. And finally, the exciting award ceremony will be at 8 p.m. Nice. So sorry about my um, extra excitement. I'm just super <laughs> excited about the side quests we have. And I'm like, I'm here to Good play design. games, to be honest. That's why I just kind of jumped the gun over uh, exactly. at that place. So first of all, we've got the meme challenge. It's pretty self-explanatory, but that is. Just yeah, share exactly. your most uh, funny meme that's AI relevant. Post it in the relevant uh, Slack mm -hmm. channel. What's up for grabs? 100 euro gift card in Amazon. The, guy, the voting is going to work by uh, like with the trophy emoji in Slack and the mm -hmm. meme with the most likes is we'll win. the winner. And there has right. been already some submissions. <laughs> Actually quite good ones. I'm quite Yeah, excited. it's going to be a close yeah. one. This one is going to be a close one. A bit uh, less hard to kind of win is the pop quiz. That just depends on your knowledge in the relevant yeah, field. Good general knowledge. This is I one knowledge. of our team side quests. Here, well, again, a bit self-explanatory. You go and you solve questions in the pop quiz format. And the team that answers the most right questions is going to win. What's up for grabs? 30 euros per team member. Also Correct. an Amazon voucher. It's quite a lot of things. And finally, guys, it's Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter. And for that, we've got uh -huh. some Easter eggs for you in Gathertown. They are spread all over the place in Gathertown. They are going to pop up and pop out from time to time. If you catch one within your team, make a screenshot, post it in the relevant Slack channel. And what's up for grabs? Again, 30 euro Amazon voucher. Pretty exciting team <laughs> members. So, a lot to play for here, guys. Amazing prizes, yeah. money. It's quite a lot. It's quite and fun. maybe also one thing to mention here is that yeah, the Easter egg hunt will not start until Friday or Thursday, the 9th, I think, is a Thursday, and the pub quiz will be during the deep dive days. And the meme challenge has already started, as you've seen, and will continue until the end of the Makeathon weekend. Next, we'll get into the platforms. We're using three main platforms, which you probably have noticed by now, which are Gathertown, Slack, and Artemis. Slack will use for our communication, main communication. Then Gather will be almost everything else, our main event platform. And then Artemis will be our submission and information platform. May just a quick summary, like here on Slack, many of you have probably already used it, but you can find all relevant support channels or side quest channels. And like I said, all the channels for the socializing groups you'll find here and you're able to message everybody privately. Uh, next for Gathertown, a bit more complicated at times, I guess, but uh, we basically came up with the system of the Tumea universe where we have five diff uh, six different planets. Uh, one is our home planet where we're currently located and here all the business talks will happen. And yeah, a lot of the deep dive days will happen here and all like professional relevant events. Then we have the party planet, which is more for socializing, where the grand opening party, for example, will happen, where you have fun games that you can play with your teammates, with other teammates, with the dance floor and everything. So that should be quite fun. And then finally, we have the um, three track planets, where you, they have two rooms for, for the OC and the CC. First, you'll have the socializing that will happen here, like I just talked about, which will happen tomorrow. And then afterwards, also the team rooms will be here, where for each team, we'll provide a space that they can work in and collaborate in during the Makeathon weekend itself. Next, uh, the teleportation gates, gates, you don't have access to them yet. But uh, tomorrow we'll start opening them and then from through these teleportation gates you can teleport to all the different planets and back to the central teleport. This is pretty straightforward, you just kind of walk into it and then you get teleported to where you want. 
Uh, next, uh, if you enter a private space, private space basically means that everybody who's in the space can hear each other, but nobody that's outside the space. And you can notice this private space by like by a light lighter color showing up on the floor, like you see in this uh, picture. And if you want to interact with some objects, such as games, they will light up in a kind of yellow tone, like you can see in the Tetris game on the table. And yeah, you just have to click X to then actually open it. Uh, most importantly, I guess, is that you make sure to use Google Chrome when using Gather Town, and yeah, make sure to close all tabs that you don't need at the moment and applications that are irrelevant and you're not using at the moment to make sure the performance is as good as it can be. If you still think there are some issues or it's a bit laggy, uh, turn off smooth movement. This might also help. And you can find the settings button on the left. And also one thing, if you might be experiencing a bug and be entered like somewhere in space floating about and don't get back inside, then yeah, click, go on the settings part as well and click respawn, which will take you right back to the main planet. So that should be completely fine. Uh, next, we have Artemis, our information and submission platform. Like I said, more detail will be in the forum, but basically if you have a tome idea, you just have to look in, and otherwise you'll be provided with credentials you can use here. Also maybe to mention already is that you have to log in once first, and then you'll basically get access to the course, which will happen a bit later. And once you then can see the course, which you can see here, the GPT-3 Makeathon by Tome AI, you will be able to see this specific screen. Uh, in the exercise parts, you can see some tutorials. In the lecture parts, you will be able to find some information later on. And yeah, what you need to check out as soon as you have access is the uh, first tutorial, where you find a lot more information on what exactly you can do on this platform and how you should use it. So what are the most important takeaways? This was a lot of info that we kind of <laughs> throw in your face. Don't worry, you're going to get the slides. But what are the most important takeaways from today? Your commitment. When you submit the OC and CC form, you commit to participate in the Mankathon. Partial mm -hmm. unavailability. If you can be there in the deep dive days, mm -hmm. not an issue. We've got your back. Just make sure that you're available for the two days of the actual Makeathon where the actual making is going to happen. The deep dive days are an add on. It's a big shame if you don't participate. You're going to miss a lot, a lot, a lot. Just saying, but not that big of a deal. And one of the most important uh, takeaways is the form deadline today. Don't forget to submit yeah. that. And the platforms get to know them. There's a lot, there's a lot of tools. It's very hard to organize that uh, big event Absolutely. in a virtual setting. But again, let's make the most out of it and make it as fun as it can be. So make sure you can use the tools. Yeah. And at that bombshell, the most two important things, stay excited and stay curious. It's here, it's there. It's Meet uh, people, there. talk to people, don't be shy. Most people are very happy to make conversations. So just turn on your camera, say hello, say you were from, ask people how they are. Like What they ate for breakfast, fine. what they ate for lunch. <laughs> Anything. There's a lot of so conversation, start a conversation. If you need any help, fun. text me. I'm going to help you better. <laughs> Do that. Yeah. Sounds good. So now to close off, we really would like to know what you're most excited for and looking forward to in this event. So we'll try the poll thing again. Maybe this time it will work right away. And we can see what answers you come up with. Because not going to lie, Omar, like with all this COVID thing happening and not meeting many people, like it's been a bit of a struggle. But I think that's why like an event like this, even for me already, like meeting all the organizers online, like it's been so fun to just communicate with different people, meet some new people and yeah, I, I hope it's going to be the same. For yeah, everybody. I think definitely that's like one of the many mm. important aspects of um, hackathons or hackathons in, in general. Like I also, remember yeah, when I participated sure. in hackathon, I met two very interesting people from uh, Boston, I think. Mm -hmm. And we had quite a fun and we, we're friends now. So maybe your next best friend is out there somewhere. So don't, don't, don't be <laughs> shy to it. network with him or her. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, first point of startup, I guess that's also, and GPT-3 access, I mean, yeah, it's pretty exciting to get GPT-3. Yeah, the guy who said the <laughs> memes. memes, the guy or the girl memes who said the memes. Memes is the one, we're all gonna be on the yeah, memes side and, and forget about all the other stuff. The API key, definitely yeah. not to underestimate. Beer, <laughs> <laughs> is there beer involved? Wasn't aware oh, of this yet, oh, but beer is always, I need one. <laughs> beer's good. <laughs> Love it. AI. Meeting new people, AI collaboration, AI. amazing. This is, this is some good stuff we're getting. This is some good stuff, this is getting me even more psyched. Love it. <laughs> nah, pretty, pretty exciting. Very cool. Um, maybe as you all think of these exciting things, we can jump into our five minute, 10 minute break now. I think 10 minutes. And then we'll get into the challenge pitches so and the uh, company challenge so pitches. Stay so stay tuned for that. And we'll see you soon. See you in a sec.